take Stella. Nine-year-old Stella is a beautiful mixed breed with a loving family. Here's her moment to shine. But two months ago, her owners found a lump on her leg. It turned out to be a mast cell tumor, a type of cancer diagnosed in almost 200,000 dogs every year. It's the kind of cancer when treated um, appropriately or somewhat aggressively, you can have good successes with it, but um, it certainly can, it can progress and, and kill an animal. Until now, dogs like Stella with cancer have had limited options. The only drugs available to treat cancer in pets were really developed for humans, not animals. But there's new hope with Palladia, the first cancer medication specifically developed for dogs and promising for other pets. The drug maker Pfizer said it caused 37% of mast cell tumors to disappear and had a positive effect in almost 60% of dogs. It was really sad. Six years ago, Lisa Peterson lost her dog Basha to cancer. She's grateful to see researchers apply lessons learned in people to pets. It will allow all dog owners to, um, you know, better care for their animals. As we all know, dogs are now our very valued family members. Veterinarians are going to wait and see how Stella responds to conventional therapy before considering this new treatment. But it's comforting to know there may be another option for her. It's got a lot of potential, and I think there are, you know, we have good therapies for mast cell tumors, but we don't have great therapies. And so <laughs> he agrees. Yeah. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, um, New York.